Ladies and gentlemen, I'm wearing black from top to bottom and um, yeah, it's been a really difficult few weeks for Kenyans and Kenya at large. Um, the reason why I'm doing black, uh, this weekend um, the country is uh, celebrating uh, those people who were lost during the anti-government riots, the demonstrations. Basically, why people are demonstrating is because of I'm not a child. I just want to ask you, Kenyans, my deputy president, Rigathe Gashagwa, my president, William Ruto, if economy is too high and then you say that we are supposed to shoot to kill, when you kill all the people around the area, which one can you lead? Uneza ungoza nani uki kula water. And that is the fact. And the fact will remain to be a fact because we are not illiteracy people around the ghetto. Because economy, economy is too high. Economy is too high. Hey, nilikuwa ninauza mboga. Hey. Wakilidanganya kwamba eti mama mboga ataokolewa. Oh, Lakini kwa sasa, sasa navutiwa chini kama takataka. Alafu kitu cha kushangaza, mnatudanganya mnatutumia kama tishu pepa, alafu sasa hivi mnakuja na sala za kusema kwamba nataka mtujengee manyumba. Hatuna haja na manyumba. Ushuru mnao tuongezea mataxi sisi toe wapi? Mnataka toe wapi sisi? Mama mboga kama mimi, nitatoa hiyo pesa ya kuwalipa ni watolee wapi? And uh, it's really interesting to see this come to play especially for uh, young people who really believed in this current uh, president but the question today is is it really the government or its global economy that is affected yeah we have seen the government and uh, the um, MPs make a lot of uh, self-interest uh, decisions and it's uh, quite interesting to also see what is coming into play right now. Kina Turamba. Musicheze na moto. For lack of a better word. Also, um, with the two leaders, we see ego in play, which is dangerous. Fahali wa wili wa kinyoroshana. Ninyasi ambayo wa mekojolea ndo inararuga. Hakuna maendeleo bila amani. Yeah, so we are the nyasi ambayo mekwajolewa. Yani, yani, this, this guys just lures us to voting them in and out. Mambo ulio ya ungea, huku ya huku ujatimiza jambo lorote bali, ni mdomo ni mdomo na wabunge wako, hafu menuwa wabunge wako, nisikiriza buwana rutu hata ukiwa, wapocha ulipo na wabunge wako. Unanunu umenuwa wabunge wako, unajitipanya fanya eti, hawa wabunge tuwa mepitisha, mepitisha nini? Kwa ni wabunge ya tuwa ama mwana inti kama mimi, na wengine tuwa kipitagua. Kina drama, we don't have any other thing here. It's really shocking the decisions that you know they're making right now in the government. But who am I to judge? You can only spectate from outside if you're not a footballer. EPL is coming, so I hope I'm gonna update you guys on what's coming. But uh, yeah, it's quite interesting to see everything that's going around, not just in Kenya but around the world. Um, I was in Peru, they just concluded their riots before I arrived in Peru and uh, it's also interesting to see that happen right now in Kenya. Uh, but also there have been talks about the president just randa randa in moving from here to there and uh, we've seen uh, a lot of leaders spewing words and talking. But I thought we lived in a democracy in Kenya. I thought, I believed. Yes, and that's why I handed over whatever. Which is really interesting. A lot of things have really unfolded. Um, when at the riot started, uh, it seemed like both the opposition and the government both have an ego. And um, and it's beautiful to see these leaders fight. I wish Kenyans could step back for a minute. But also, I think the only voice they hear is Kenya. Kama mimi mama mboga na iki kapu yangu hii. Nenda kuchoma maindi. Nitaweza kweli. Mimi afadhali president ni nakuambia ya kuamba. Nyumba ita nisaidia kwa sababu tunalala njana watoto. Raila Amolo Odinga, the former prime minister, uh, also say he doesn't acknowledge uh, President Ruto as President of Kenya. 
and uh, so he also wants talks. So what 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 else do you want? Probably, uh, which is a bit confusing and contradicting. Uh, but also uh, on the statement that he had just given, he said uh, the Tanzanian president, Mama Suluhu, alikuja hapa Kenya kuleta suluhisho. <laughs> and the government, really they are not saying she wasn't here, but they are not confirming that she was here or not here. Uh, the government spokesman uh, said he couldn't confirm anything. You know, but uh, it's also interesting to just see the confusion. Interestingly, uh, one politician that I follow closely is Babu Owin. <laughs> Babu Owin was arrested. The MP. <laughs> A whole MP. Yeah, it's not funny. It's not funny to see this in play. And I heard him talk about it. This is what he said. Thank you very much, fellow Kenyans. I'm Babu Owino, member of parliament in Bakasi's constituency. I want to take this opportunity to thank Kenyans for the great support that you gave me during this challenging moment. I was arrested on Tuesday, the 18th day of July, 2023, at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport around 9 p.m., handcuffed, blindfolded, and thrown in a boot of a Subaru car, driven in the middle of nowhere, put in a solitary confinement for three days. Yeah, so very interesting to see that happening to a whole MP. You see, these are our leaders who are leading us and also, you know, uh, we amend laws and we also expect to see them, you know, respected. But then, like dude lands at the airport and then he meets people, strange people. <laughs> Pinga <laughs> eh, pingu. You say, you know, it's not funny. The drama that has been unfolding in this country is really interesting, and I think it's very vital for us as young people to be keen and really watch what's going on. I mean, part of it is also uh, us standing for ourselves, the citizens standing for themselves, but also I think uh, of importance for us to know and really realize and analyze and be careful about is the supremacy battle around this whole situation. Yeah, so we really have to be careful. Um, I've had 30 to 50 people lost their life just within these two weeks and it's really scary to see the extrajudicial killings that are happening in this country, especially after we bought this narrative from our Honorable President William Ruto. This is what I'm referring to. There will be no extrajudicial killings in the government of Kenya under my administration. And I've also seen an interesting twist of words, seeing like a serious interview of the President addressing his promises Yani, I'm not stupid the way you think that I am. Have you ever been slapped on the face until you feel like, you know, your face is hot, it's cold, like you see stars, you see clear, and it's not clear to you what you're seeing. That's what we're experiencing right now as a country and as young people. And I think it's also beautiful. I think it's a wake-up call. I think we, we, most of us were very asleep. Not just that. Our former honorable president, Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. So first, his property is raided and people still condolence. You, you know, it's. Simu mecheza na moto na mumeumia. Simu mecheza na moto na mumeumia. And then we see spectra which is affiliated to our former prime minister invaded guys tell us in the comment section what you think is happening to this country now back to our uh, uh, former president Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta people are missing him right now it's interesting to see <laughs> Who bewitched us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
But <coughs> recently, his mom's security. So I'm saying, I'm here. Do you have to go and look for my mother? Like, this is the first lady of the first first lady of this republic, and you withdraw security from. Like, who, who does that? Who is this emotional dude that's giving these orders? Because. Really? Now, I'm going to go to the Vijana. Kwa Heshima. Kwa Heshima. Kwa Zawa, I'm going Lakini, Mujiulize. Where and why? Come and make a sign. There is no way. There is no way I'm even bringing your mother into the picture. There is no way I'm even going to think about your mother. Like, what? What is this, guys? I look forward to being the president of this country in my dreams because I'm not interested. <laughs> yeah, but then we see her security withdrawn. Nana, chua kidogo. Like, why you guys trying to threaten her or threaten them and then later on when I draw her water? You know, like, and if this is happening to the first first lady of this Republic of Kenya, then I'm thinking, what could happen to you? This <laughs> or to me? Can <laughs> imagine? Like, tunaza katwa katwa kama nyama ndogo 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 tuweke kwa guni. Umesikia kia kelelea riva yala. Tupele kwa riva yala, lafu tumuwa gezi. Crocodile is a kid to cool. I want to go dress. Yeah, but interest, it's not funny, but I think now we can laugh. Um, personally, I want to laugh about it because uh, I didn't see this coming. If you saw this coming, I think Uhuru Kenyatta and Ilamolo Dinga saw this coming. Haja ni mutu ambaya kona roho ya wanainchi. You might see me laughing, but I'm not happy. This is someone's mother. Like who can do it? Who can go to mama? Yang, who go to mama? I think that's all my mom has under security. I'm a more milango ya mama. Aki anani. But that's not interesting. Aki anani ina kuja apa. So then, of course, among other leaders, leaders are arrested. Some of them put in jail. I know of a few people that I know personally that were arrested. But also interesting was to see the, um, the former um, Chief Justice, Willy Mutunga, <laughs> running out of the... <laughs> If I wasn't from the street, I would think if there's a problem, I'm running into the police station. But these guys were literally running out of the police station. <laughs> to, to save their lives. <laughs> but we all know that if you have a problem, the police station is not the place to run to. Yeah, I was watching this cartoon and they were talking about <laughs> somebody coming and saying, hey, <laughs> then the police are asking him, Kwani we ni panya? Si wacha panya hakuji have report. We wacha siyaza buwana. Wakichana shitago nini? Kuna mutu kwa muta yetu kwa boma mekunyo dawa ya panya. Sasa hiyo inatuhusu na mnakani buwana. Sasa ya mekunyo dawa ya panya akalibu kufa. Sasa kwa ni? Magosa hiko wapi? Labta walikuwa mesikilisana na panya. Haka muambia we nipatia hii tawa yako ni kinuwe angu ntarutisha. Hapana we uwerewi. Hakikunyo tawa ya panya kwa ni wanti wapanya. Hapana we uwerewi. Si dawa ya menu hati ya panya mekunyo. No, sikilisa. Kesi hapa ni kani. Mekunyo tawa ya panya. Basi endo wambia panya agucha ripoti ye mwenye. So that cartoon is just, just literally what you're looking at. Like, it's not the way you think about this narrative, but then you have to think about it deeply. <laughs> the Chief Justice, the former Chief Justice, that is a very honorable, very powerful person that should be respected. I hope to one day host him in the show, inshallah. But then runs. 
This is somebody who knows the laws, practiced law to the highest level of this country's judicial ladder. And he's running out of what is the function of the police to keep law and order? <laughs> yeah, but it's also interesting. Um, I've got a little bit of interest in reading, um, to be honest. If you're guilty of this, you can also go drop a comment on the comment section. I never really got deep into reading the Kenyan constitution. I think even like three quarters of our leaders know nothing about the constitution. But uh, it's interesting to see that we have a constitution that we vote leaders who are supposed to be amending and they are not amending. They are ending. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they become the law. I find, you know, you are he gamble and gamble, sana. I don't really know what, where we are going as a country. It's very confusing. But still on that one, then we see... Because they should tell me what they want with my children. Yeah? Do they want? They've removed their security. Now I hear they want to remove their, their personal weapons. So what? John Jomo, the son of... Uh, 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 our former president, Uhuru Kenyatta's home, raided one with um, an uniformed police with a private SSD number plate. Me, SSD by them, me, na Juanga, ni da se okfanya show the deals. I say, Uhaya, and I end on Miss Jasema Kiko, and I say, I'm going to comment section. Yeah, and then you show up at the former's. President's son home and you want to disarm him. This is the former president's son. It's Akiuru Kenyatta to make a miss. Kinatura Mauri to a beer. Musiches and a motto. Tell us, show us the way, tell us what to do. But really, you really look at this and you think about it like, where are we headed as a country? And as a young person, what is your take on this? And have you been thinking about this? So I'll give you my take. After the first man to man, or the first demonstration, for lack of a better word, I thought to myself, this is not good. I've been in Rwanda a couple of times. Uh, the one place I visit when I go to Rwanda is the Genocide Museum. And if not, if, I mean, I think it's even online, you can just check. So that's what I was picturing, God forbid. But because of the arrests, the killings, and everything that was going on, one person I'd be interested to talk to actually is Boniface Mwangi because he's been through it, he's seen it all, but now um, he's still an activist. So there's probably something Boniface Mwangi knows that me and you don't know. That's what I need to find out. Yeah, it's a dark moment in the country right now. And uh, this weekend we've seen, no, from Wednesday we've seen people commemorating and celebrating the lives that have been lost. I don't know if this generation has seen or even has an idea of what peaceful protest is. So we, we sit down and we ask ourselves, like, what is peaceful protest? What does it mean? And do you really think you... Victor, his capacity would go to the to whatever and tell them that I want to hold a peaceful protest, so I need a certificate. I'll be using Ngomo Road all the way to Moy Avenue, then we will be marching. <laughs> Kama, <laughs> Chief Justice, no, na kimbia kutoka kwenu, mimi.
ni kuje ni seme nataka kufanya peaceful demonstration mimi pesa pesa certificate unafikiri mimi ni mjinga i am coming let's pray and hope for our country let's pray and hope and in whatever capacity and wherever you are let's remember the families of the people that have lost people a lot of young people who are shot that they didn't deserve to die for me i don't really think they deserve to die so if you are out there let's remember them in our prayers and remember our country in, in our in your prayers as you pray please remember kenya in your prayers and for believers and meditators who can meditate tafadhali kipiga shada yako kumbuke kenya kenya inchi yetu kenya 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 tunaipenda i'm not learning we are kenyan kenya 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 mnaicho Kenya Kenya aki mnachoma na mimi nataka tu kusema viongozi sasa ndo hii mwaka moja imeisha mmebakisha miaka ngapi na hii ya, ya nne inakuanga tu ya campaign so mmebakisha miaka ngapi that na already hii mnaiwest kwa kuvutana vutana kwa hivyo mmebakisha miaka ngapi mbili na hizi mbili kumbuka pia sisi tunataka kuzaa so mmebakisha ngapi moja na hii moja Kumbukeni Mungu anaweza rudi saa yote. Mungu akirudi wewe kiongozi wa Kenya, atakupata tu kama unanyanyasa watu. Thank you ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Please drop a comment on the comment section and let's keep remember to keep our country in prayers. Invictus with Victus. Danke schön.